Hey, it is your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. We're zooming in and focusing in on a very important and also very sensitive topic and discussion and that is the projection um, of the borderline of the expe expectation that others will hurt, humiliate, abuse, cheat, and lie on them. Um, it is a very difficult situation um, if you are around an individual who has targeted you for this expectation. Um, the expectation that you will he hurt, abuse, lie, cheat, um, manipulate, or take advantage of them. There is a constant swirling negative energy of the borderlines ascribing of negative qualities to you which do not are not part of you, are not part of your fabric. They're not hanging on you. They're not part of who you are. Yet the borderline, because of their pathology, because of the neurology of their personality disorder, they tend to awfulize, ca catastrophize, I know that's a tongue twister, they tend to catastrophize and ascribe these qualities to people which are not inherent to them. And this projection of expectation not only carries over to the individual, it can carry over to a global situation at large. So it can permeate the entire fabric of your relationship, um, the discussion, the questions, the give and take between the two of you, and then therefore your life experience, and then furthermore permeate deeper into you and your life purpose. So um, if this, if you have been around this negative projection that you are, um, you know, hurting them, abusing them, um, all these sort of negative projections, the false accusations, the criticism, it really is uh, quite extensive. And if you are under this projection, for fur uh, furthermore, I want to give you my heartfelt condolences and understanding and empathy for you because I know how difficult this can be to kind of see through this darkness, just kind of see through this shroud, if you will. It's a very, it, it tends to shroud or permeate or put a kind of a, a, a cover over everything that you do where you can't really in the, be in that B state, that exist state, that I am state, and then experience the more positive emotions which you need to th thrive, grow, take your relationship to the next level. Um, this can be a family member, this can be a spouse, this can be someone who you work with, it can be someone in your community where basically they're not able to see and validate you for who you are, especially your inherent goodness. And so if they're you know, not able to call forth or connect to or resonate with that goodness which is part of you, you're going to feel a distinct severing gulf or basically entrenchment between you and the other. And oftentimes it's something that you're not able to put a finger on. You're wondering, you know, why. Um, you're you're feeling like, um, especially if you've maybe been a child or a young adult around this person, and they are falsely um, accusing you um, and making you feel like, you know, you don't have any leverage. You don't have any opinion. You can't speak up. You are um, told that you're lying um, when you're not lying. Um, you know, this sort of can permeate your being and cause a, a great deal of hurt. And hurt that can be crippling in nature because of the profound um, strength of energy that is oftentimes projected from a borderline. Um, it's not, you know, just a quiet blame. It's a very loud blame. Um, it can be backed with a lot of energy. It can be backed with a lot of um, hurt, you know, hurting energy. So, you know, one thing with emotion, it's energy and motion. And you can oftentimes feel um, the hurt that comes and emanates from this person. And, um, you know, a lot of people say, you know, could you measure this? Well, yes, um, you know, Dr. Joe Dispenza does measure energetic fields. You know, you can measure energetic fields that surround an individual. You can feel it coming off of them. You know, especially from a borderline, it might be perceived as like very prickly, very hot. Um, almost like you're getting, you know, burned a little bit um, on the skin. It can be very hot in temperature or very sort of cold in nature. Um, you can feel almost like it's like a, a drop of humanity. Um, 
when they're launching into the awfulizing. And if you were to pick your eyes up and look around the environment, you'll see that there is nothing awful about the environment, the person, yourself. It is a negative projection or a negative expectation that the borderline will tend to launch into. And, um, you know, um, also there is then this uh, engulf, you know, uh, there's this gulf or dam of emotional exchange between you and the other. Um, so, you know, um, they oftentimes will not be able to give the nurturing, empathy, uh, sort of guidance and protection that would be natural um, or fluid in the relationship. They will then furthermore, not only will they deprive people who they're in a relationship of this nurturing, empathy, guidance, this sort of warmth, fuzzy, um, you know, happy experience. Not only will they deprive you of that, they will project that you are not giving that when in essence you are. So it's a very confusing conundrum and creates a real enigma, a real mystery um, and a lot of confusion um, for people in the relationship. And especially for those people who are young, impressionable, they do not know how to think for themselves. Their cognitions are not developed. Their emotions are not developed. You know, they want to play, have fun. They're natural, spontaneous. They might have an internal temperament that needs nurturing, guiding, growth, um, you know, that needs to be developed, um, that needs to be enhanced, that needs to be nurtured and kind of called forth out of them. And oftentimes a negative projection, which does not exist in that being, is then ascribed or ascertained to them. Um, you know, and so it can be very much a testy, um, a test of reality sort of experience where this is not matching up in reality, yet you have to go along with it. Um, if you are in a relationship with them, sometimes people feel that they have no way out. So they just kind of shut down and go with it. And this can become very alienating. It can lead to a lot of social isolation um, where this person then might be kind of, go, you know, continuing their life, their, you know, um, their personality disorder just tends to proliferate and they might have other social acquaintances or relationships where, you know, this is, they're launching more into the very um, other side of their relationship where they're social or, you know, ongoing, you know, and it's not really sort of filtered with that projection, but they are going to get it too, but not maybe to the degree of the individual who they have targeted as supply or sabotage. So, I just want you to become aware of this um, episode or this sort of experience and begin to kind of separate from those stories that they are putting on you like an anecdote and realize that you need to get to your own template. You have your own feather quill with which you draw your measure, you know, your treasure map. You, you are the one in charge of how life is going from here forward. You are the one in charge of um, saying where the boat is, is is sailing, basically. You are ascribing that you are charting the next course. You are in charge of the future. You are responsible to live the dream. You are the responsible one for going there, being there, doing that, and following up. It is up to you to set those action steps because if you've been intertwined with them, they're going to keep you stuck so that you're you know, in that negative um, accusation. They're going to keep you ingrained in that and so it's important for you to kind of let go or unensnare yourself from that. And basically, it's it's the how do I, it's the why don't you. Um, do not feel bad. Do not feel guilty. Do not feel that you've done something wrong. And do not take it personally. It is just what life is like um, along with this person, this spouse, this sibling, this parent, this coworker, this boss, this manager, this politician this doctor, whoever it is, you know, if you have encountered this, that is, you know, basically what it is. So you need to break away, get leverage back on yourself, get a handle on it, get a big, you know, stick, so to speak, and begin the walking. Get the big pen, do the writing. Um, get the big calendar, do the planning. Move forward. Begin to now make choices that oftentimes are separate from release the guilt release the confusion, release the why me, um, and replace it with the why don't I, now I am, and the I love to. Begin to release the negative and live completely, and I mean 100% in the positive. 
take stick in hand, pen in hand, phone in hand, whatever it is that you need to do to launch into that new course and chart that new course where you are at the helm rather than the projection of a borderline or malignant narcissist. It is peace and harmony with you here today and I hope that these videos do help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.